Wealth Trace family was good, was good. So we're back with another weekly analysis. And I'm going to do my best to make this part of the video as short as I can. So we're going to run through these pairs and run through my bias. Let's get it. Let's go. So for GBP AUD, I'm looking for buys. If price can break above 1.92783 retest, and I'm looking for it to continue up. However, price can break below the trend line and continue in a downtrend. So for GPAUD, I'm looking for buys. For GBPJPY, I'm looking for sales or retracement. Also for Euro JPY, I'm looking for sales or retracement. I think news had a a significant impact on the market just going back to a downtrend because it was an uptrend for a short brief time but again euro jpy i'm looking for sales in the upcoming week gpusd i'm also looking for sales with the retracement to 1.25186 for euro usd i'm also looking for sales with a retracement I don't know why I don't have the boxes here, but either way, I'm looking for sales with a retracement to the box you see in red, the 50% retracement zone. So for GB, Euro USD, I'm looking for sales. AUD USD, I'm also looking for sales with a retracement. I think I said that too fast. For AUD USD, I'm also looking for sales with a retracement. And I have gold on here, but I haven't got it um, marked up yet. However, I won't be trading gold. Gold is way too volatile and the spreads are too high. But in the future, I do want to trade gold. So right now, I just want to learn how it moves um, and practice trading it with a demo account. That way, when I do transfer to a live account, I understand how the pip count is because it's different from the pairs I trade now. But I do have gold added to my list of pairs that I will be trading in the future. So quick rundown again. GPAUD, I'm looking for buys. GPJPY, I'm looking for sales with a retracement. Euro JPY also looking for sales at a retracement. GBP USD I'm looking for sales at a retracement. And then Euro USD I'm looking for sales at a retracement as well. And then for the last pair, AUD USD sales at a retracement. So I'm looking for sales for majority of my pairs, but GBP AUD. Uh, I'll check the upcoming news. Let me just do that real quick with you guys. Let me just see what they have coming up. Make sure everything is correct. Time zone is correct and everything. All right. Let me just run through this real quick with you guys. See what we got coming. All right, so we got USD. I think that might have a high impact, but I'm not sure. That actually trade. That already, that already happened. Ah, that explains a lot. I'm not looking at the right one. We are down here. So we have USD news coming out. Red folders means it's going to be a high impacting news. So we do have some USD uh, news coming out. We do have GBP news coming out. This, I think, is jobs. Uh, so this will have a significant impact on any pair with GBP. Um, we have some news, but not, not like high impact coming out on USD. GBP has some more news, like Bank of England government, Bailey Speaks. That's not going to have an impact on the market significantly, but it's a red folder because it's just something you want to be aware of. Same with like, ooh, this could actually have a, a powerful impact. Um... But yeah, but we do have news coming out next week. Not to to the point where I'm like not gonna take no trades or I think it's oh see like on employment change. This right here will have a significant impact on pairs with AUD USD. That is Wednesday. We got unemployment claims on USD as well. Thursday. Retail sales. So things to be mindful of of the upcoming week is unemployment claims. Um and then where is it? And then Fed, and then the, the chair speaking here. I think his name is Powell. This he has a significant impact on USD pairs. Um, so climate change has nothing to do with um, jobs, but we do have some news coming out. So that's just something to be mindful of when you're like looking for trade setups and thinking about getting in a trade. Just be mindful of news coming up. I like to trade uh, pairs when news is coming out either before or after news. I don't like to trade it during because you just never know which way the market will go. It might give you a hint, but then again, the market could just like do the complete opposite. So yeah, I really tried to make this video as short as I could for this segment. I hope I accomplished that. If not, I'll work on it in the future. But yeah, y'all. So yeah, peace. Uh -huh.
Diamonds on the kids, blue Yeah, yeah, yeah Put it on me, she my little pawn to a shawty It's okay, it's okay, at the lake it's a party It's a motherfucking party, and it's about to go down Ooh, put it on me, she my little pawn to a shawty On the way to the lake, ooh yeah, it's a party It's a motherfucking party, and it's about to go down Pass me a cold one, only getting older So I'ma gon' pull you closer Okay, will you If the mountains on the cans blue Need one for both hands, baby, grab two Lay out on the front and get your tan on Water to my knees, a hundred deep out of the sand bar No keep a track of time, fuck a last car Eyes on the prize, everyone looking like who she Maybe off one in that two-piece Walk the pit, it's my intentions, I can make it splash What's the cost of risking it all, I get paying cash <laughs> It feels right Drop the anchor down, we'll be here for a while Got me thinking about all the good times Coming our way, oh yeah Ooh, put it on me She my little pawn to a shawty It's okay, it's okay At the lake, it's a party It's a motherfucking party And it's about to go down Ooh, put it on me She my little pawn to a shawty On the way to the lake Ooh yeah, it's a party It's a motherfucking What's good, gang? World's well, good. So I just want to show you a few trades that I miss. So here goes a trade on AU. I missed this trade. I actually got into this trade twice. Um, looking for buys, thinking it was gonna do like a, a retracement. I was gonna try to do like a retracement trade, but both times I got stopped out. So I lost maybe about almost ten dollars on this trade, and it went against my trading plan. And I traded on Sunday. So here's AU. Um, your USD is starting to move down. Like this could get a, this could be a trade I would be able to get into if I had like enough capital on my trading account and I wasn't already in a trade. So here's a uh, Euro USD that's starting to move. Here's GBP USD, which is now starting to break through. You might want to wait for it to break out. Probably give you like a retest to show you that price is still gonna go down, or you can enter early. But GPUSD is moving. I'm in Euro JPY and it is just it is just going slow. I've been in this trade for for a while. This is a slow moving trade right here, so we'll see. Yeah, this this trade is this pair is just moving slow right now. You got GP JPY and then GBP AUD. We was looking for buys and look at that, y'all. Look at that. And you see it still says buys. If price can break above 1.92783, retest and continue. What did it do? It came, broke down below the trend line, came back up, broke above 1.29807, retested, and now it's continuing up. Uh, so this is a this is a trade I'd rather have been in over EuroJPY, but we already need a trade, so it is what it is. But you see it's pushing up quite nicely, man. And today is just Monday, April 15th. Um, and I think news did come out that had a slight impact on the market, but not as significant as like CPI or uh, non-farm payroll. But I just really want to just update you guys on these pairs and then show you what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, still in this pair right here. Just waiting for it to push down, which I believe it will. I'm just, I'm just patiently, patiently waiting, y'all. So yeah, here goes the trades I got into. You can see I got into two trades on AU and lost both. So in total, it's about eight dollars and sixteen cents, which is all my fault. Like I, 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 I take it as it comes because I shouldn't have been in a trade in the first place. It went against my trading plan. I thought I was gonna just like get a retracement and then continue the original plan, which was to look for sales. But that didn't happen at all. The market humbled me gracefully. And I'm cool with that because I know either way, um, there's going to be better opportunities to make up for this loss. Um, so I just, again, I'm all about being transparent on this channel. And here you go. Here goes those two losses on AU and the current trade that we are currently in on EuroJPY.
And again, it's just it's just moving real slow, but I believe price will come down to TP at 162.567. Yo, well, Chase family, it was good, was good. As you see, I'm still in this trade and I really, really want to close, but I'm going to remain patient. As you see, it's not doing much moving right now. Um, I don't know what's causing that. It's just in like this big hole, this consolidation area. I really, really want to close, but I'm not going to. So let me hold up, take you guys over real quick to uh, Trade Locker and just kind of show you where I'm at with profit. All right, so here we are in Trade Locker. Let me go to the trade. You can see we are currently up eight, nine dollars. Also, I don't know if you guys know, so this is a new update. I like it. I've been liking the update they've been doing a Trade Locker. Um, you can see it tells you sell your lot, your entry, and everything like that. It's, it's just it's better it's cleaner um but we are currently up eight dollars uh and it is 10 02 p.m and i'm on my way to work actually it's 9 57 p.m but i got my um car clock a little more ahead so yeah anyway just want to update you guys this trade is moving quite slow but i'm gonna stay patient um and wait for it to continue to push down to tp so let's get ready to head to work peace Deep in the night, feel something. I'll be back. Okay, you're not going. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're not going. I'm always on my own. And you're running through my mind. And the weather's getting cold. And my homies getting coughed. And I'm stuck here all alone. And I'm scrolling through the gram. And you pop up in my phone. Yeah, you know. I'ma hit you on the late side. We don't gotta waste no. what's good y'all what's good so you see we're back in the infamous storage room where i had the most views on my video but that's neither here nor there just wanted to update you guys on how this week is going so far so far i've lost three trades and closed one with barely any profit to make up for the first two trades that i lost on au and those trades uh would have how can i say it wouldn't have been a loss if I wasn't trying to do something new and try to uh, trade like a retracement or what I thought was going to be a retracement and end up just being uh, a losing trade. But that's okay. I'm just going to kind of like slow down, pause, wait for some setups, and then uh, enter those if any appear throughout the rest of the week. As you will see, GBP AUD is going in the direction in which I thought it would be, which was a buy. Now, I just would have been patient. And waited and stuck to my plan instead of instead of trying to uh, you know basically trade retracement. Um, I would be in GA. I'd be in profit and be a winning trade, or even just waited for AU to go in the bias in which I thought which was a sell because it did end up going in the direction which I was waiting for it to go. So I was going to try to trade the retracement and then overall take a sell when it went back into the direction which I thought it would go. It didn't play out that way. But what I'm realizing is my emotions are not as attached as they was before. Like, yeah, okay, I lost. <clears throat> I wish I would have just gone to the trades um, with the bias that I had, but I didn't. Cool. Go on to next week. Take that information I learned next week. Really follow my trading plan. Um, and just be patient. Like, you really got to be patient in this market. You really, really got to follow the old trading plan. Like, today's Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. I wasn't supposed to trade. But I thought I seen a setup, which I didn't. Again, it was just not being patient and waiting for the market to show me what it wants to do. Um, that's what happens. You lose. But uh, it's just lesson learned, man. I'm excited to for next week because I know, I know that I'm progressing. I'm progressing. So yeah, um, it's three nineteen. I gotta go back. You know, keep working. My breaks at four. I just want to come and update you guys. So yeah, peace. <music> Jake, so. Yeah,
Wow, Eli. Tell me as you ride it, tell me as you vibe it, tell me where you slide on the low. I can be a diamond, the one that you can find in, give you time and a little more. Baby girl, won't you come my way? Hop up in that play, maybe we could spend a day. Somewhere in the world, where is you and just me? Where is you and just me? And shawty, won't you come my way? Got a lot of things that I'm wanting to say. Listen, baby girl, won't you come my way? From Jamaica, love at the maker. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, but you see, I literally just entered the trade and price just shot up out of nowhere. Good thing I didn't enter GBP JPY like I originally was going to because look at that price just shot up crazy. I don't know what made it shoot up, but it shot up. I didn't even set my stop loss on GBP USD yet, which is good because I would have been immediately stopped out, which is crazy. So yeah, that, that's wow, boy. That's wow. I'm looking. Oh, I might enter some sales on uh, Euro JPY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it closes like that, that's definitely, definitely a good sign for me. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Y'all, yeah, this, this, this is crazy. Like literally, I just entered the trade and it just shot up out of nowhere that's a few pips away from hitting my tp i meant my uh stop loss that's that's insane i don't know i don't know what happened or what caused that but that is that is insane yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping it drops back down but we'll see how's it going we'll see wealth trades family so it is about that time of the week. I want to show you guys the trades I took, the ones I lost, and the ones I won, which this week was a losing week for me. I actually lost about, as you see in this corner, total P and L 2102, which brought our profit or which brought our account down to 8707 uh, and lost pretty much all the profit that I had um, had earned last week, which is okay. Um, yeah, my highest loss being this $10, which was that trade you would see in the previous clip where I had just entered the trade and price just did a, a, a straight crazy reversal that did a straight change in like direction. It just went from pushing down with heavy momentum to price just shooting up hidden TP and continuing up until that consolidation box I had. Um, so this week I actually learned a lot i'm reflecting back on the trades i took and the trades i missed again i missed a really good trade on gbp aud because i didn't wait for the setup and i took too many trades before that on uh sunday night monday morning which was au which is these two trades right here which really uh set the tone for my week for me just taking a lot of losing trades uh these are the trades i shouldn't have took in the first place but that is okay I'm not sure what this one is. This one couldn't be from this week because I remember just taking AU first. Uh, yeah, see, this is 411. That's last week. So from 415 and up, these are trades I took. I took one, two, three, about five trades uh, with my um, sizes being from 0 0.04 to 0 0.03. I'm good with that um, lot size. I like that lot size. Uh, I'm not really tripping on the amount I lost. So in total, I lost $10.20 on this trade, $6.81. That's including like commission or swap or whatever they take for the spread. Uh, on this trade, I lost in total $6.08. And on this trade, $2.64. Again, here on Wealth Trades FX, I'm being very transparent with you guys. Um, so I'm done trading for the week. I'm actually going to end this video here. I just want to show you guys my losses. Um... And we'll just try again next week. Yeah, this this is a major loss for me this week. But again, I'm not I'm not tripping because I know what I did wrong. I brought it on myself again. It's just me and the market. The market's not doing anything personally. Me be like, oh yeah, I want to make sure you have a losing week. I want to make sure you don't. It's all it's all about my psychology. It's all about my patience. It's all about waiting for setups to come to me instead of forcing setups. And I think most of these trades I try to force. I wasn't trying to be patient. I wasn't trying to wait. I was trying to force because I felt like I missed out on a trade on GBP AUD and a trade on AUD USD. So I was trying to force trades uh, to make up for me missing that, which I want to consider that FOMO 
in a sense, but I consider that just trying to force some trades that wasn't even there in the beginning. So yes, here is uh, the trades and my losses. Here is the total balance we'll be starting off next week. Um, and let me show you my win rate real quick on TraderSync. I'm trying to build that up, but I just want to be very transparent. That way when I do reach my goal in uh, trading, you guys will see the progression. And hopefully it'll be a, an inspiration for you to keep going and just understand that this happens. This is just a losing week for me. And I'm okay with that. That's why I think my psychology is, is developing very well. I took so many losses uh, bleeding up to this that losses don't even bother me no more. Even that they're big losses because I know it's me. It's it's just me in the market. So if I take a loss, I take a loss. And if I take unnecessary losses because I'm impatient, I'm trying to force trades, and that still falls on me. So let me go ahead and take you guys to my uh, trader sync real quick. Just so I can show you guys that win rate. See, I got a 23.68% win rate, which is horrible. I'm really trying to build that up at least to an 80% win rate or 88% win rate. That is my personal goal. Uh, and I like TraderSync because you can put all your mistakes. I didn't wait for confirmation. I put FOMO, uh, forced trade, impatient, impulsive entry, over trading. Definitely, you know, same. Didn't wait for confirmation. I don't know why it's not showing the rest. Uh, forcing trade, over traded, things like that. And I, and, I, and I like that. I like that it shows you that. So I've, I've been having a lot of losses and very little wins. Let me take you guys to the calendar real quick. I like the calendar view. That's exactly why I got this. Um trading journal I don't know why I didn't just go all right here like for April April for the whole month I've lost a total of eighteen dollars and fifty five cents I don't know if my other trades are in there but I like that it shows you how many trades you took on what days how much you lost for the week or how much you won you see this is my biggest losing week which is five trades twenty two dollars sixteen cents uh, and we got next week so yeah March wasn't much better but this is the other side of trading. This is the losing side. This is you um, really building up your skills, staying committed. Although you're not seeing the, the profit that you want right now, this is just a process of becoming a successful, profitable day trader. You, you go through losing months, losing weeks. And that's okay. Just keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Keep tweaking your strategy. Just keep moving forward. That's it. Just keep moving forward. So yeah, it's gonna be in the video. Hope you guys had a blessed and prosperous week. I hope you guys hit your TPs, your TPs. I hope you guys did hit your TPs, but I hope you guys hit your trading goals this week, as always, man. Because I know we're all just trying to develop this skill to replace either a job or just to be like a side hustle that would be in the long term, be something that could become full time and be used as a vehicle to create different streams of income that will eventually set you free financially as well as regaining both of your time back. Uh, so yeah, peace.